To get a FeedBurner profile, go to feedburner.google.com and sign up for an account. Once you're signed in, you can burn a new feed on this My Feeds page by placing your current WordPress feed URL into this field and clicking Next. You can then give your feed a title and a feed address. And you'll be given the first part of the address by FeedBurner themselves. So it'll be http colon forward slash forward slash feeds dot feedburner dot com forward slash. But you can change the next part of the feed address to suit yourself. When you're happy, just click Next. Your new FeedBurner feed address will then be presented. And this is the one that you can share with other people and on your directory. And you're now ready to go to step two. So click Next. And you have some options which you're able to uh, apply here. And click next again and then the feed is successfully set up and there are a couple of extra options you want to consider from here and to use your FeedBurner account in the directory you'll certainly need to do the second point I'm going to show you here so choose the publicize tab and I always click on the ping shot link and activate that so this notifies extra services when when you make a post on the directory and the second point this is very important if you want to use feedburner in your directory you need to go to email subscriptions and you need to activate it now we need to look at the embed code here and after the URI equals this is the feed burner ID for this particular feed and this is the part that we need to put into our subscribe and contact page subscribe by email ID to feed burner so that is the FeedBurner ID that you need to put into that field.